What's up YouTube? Tonight I'm going to make a video showing you my music purchases of the last, oh, I don't know, month or so. Uh, this will be a mix of CDs and vinyl, and uh, just let me know in the comments if you like this video. Um, probably we'll make some more of these in the future if this is well received, and uh, just kind of show you off, you know, just some of the stuff I picked up over the, the recent month or so. Alright, so we'll start off with CDs first. First one of these I got is the new expanded C86 compilation. This is a three CD expanded uh, compilation of a classic cassette put out by NME Magazine during the 80s. And it was a lot of uh, kind of unknown UK um, indie pop bands that uh, were around at the time. The first CD in this compilation is the original collection and the other two CDs are very like-minded bands of the time. Um, I do like the original compilation, however, the other two CDs are what really makes this purchase worth it. Uh, there is actually much better songs on the additional two CDs, so this is a, it's a pretty cool pickup. As you can see, there's quite a few songs included. Uh, most of these bands, again, weren't very big. I mean, some of the biggest ones on here are probably Jesus and Mary Chain and the Soup Dragons. Um, but many of these bands uh, are very good, definitely worth a listen. So, yeah, check this out if you like uh, 80s indie pop type stuff. The next thing I picked up is a Jay Mascus of Dinosaur Jr. solo album. Uh, this was his band, The Fog, he did a little side project with. Um, I believe this is like the third or fourth of these albums he put out. This one came, this is from the early 2000s. It's, uh, it's pretty decent. I mean, not something I'll listen to all the time, but yeah. I mean, if you like uh, Dinosaur, you'll definitely like this. Uh, the next thing I got is the new Robert Pollard of Guided by Voices side project. Uh, Guided by Voices is my favorite band, so uh, I would definitely pick up pretty much anything they put out. This is his new uh, band. It's called Ricked Wiki, and the album is I Sell the Circus. Um, I don't know how much of a uh, go he's going to make with this band, if this is something that might tour, or if it's just a one-off project. He's kind of been known to do uh, a little of both with his side project band. So hopefully this uh, turns into something more. I'd say it's uh, half of it is really great. The other half is just average, but... Uh, yeah, it's an interesting album. Uh, the next thing I picked up is the new Sleater Kinney reunion album called No Cities to Love. Um, again, I'd say it's not their best album, but it's it's pretty good. I was a huge fan of their last album before they broke up called The Woods, and um, I would say this one's not as good as that, but definitely cool. I'm a little bummed out. I had tickets to see them on their reunion concert this year, but I'm not going to be able to go. So for those that get to go, let me know how it is. Uh, the next thing I picked up is a album by The Clean, and this is their album from 1990 called Vehicle. Um, I actually fell in love with this. I kind of wish I'd bought it on vinyl now that I, I heard how good it was. It was much better than I expected. I did have their anthology, which uh, has two CDs worth of pretty much their whole career's worth of music. Uh, a lot of it comes off of this album because this is considered one of their best. But yeah, it's definitely worth even getting this in addition to... Uh, to that compilation because there's a lot of great songs on this too. Um, just considered, you know, New Zealand pop. It's uh, very good. Definitely check that out. Uh, the other album I picked up by The Clean is one of their reunion albums. This is from 2009, I believe, and it's called Mr. Pop. Uh, this one's not as consistent as Vehicle, but it definitely has some good songs too. And uh, the last CD I got this month is actually a box set. This I have been looking for forever. Uh, this is a four CD box by The Posies, which is easily one of my most underrated bands of the 90s. Uh, this contains demos, live songs, outtakes, things like that, that uh, they released over their career. This box set was put out by a record label called Not Lame Records, and they are no longer in business. So I don't think you'll ever see this uh, re-released, but this is something that I think they only made like a thousand of these or 750. I don't know. There's not many of these out there. There are a lot of hardcore Posies fans out there, so, I mean, this is something you're definitely not going to see too often, and they get snapped up pretty quick, so I was very excited to get this. Um, as you can see, the CDs are all out of it because I've been listening to them quite a bit, so, yeah, very cool box. Um, definitely happy to pick this up. All right, so let's get into some 45s next. Uh, this weekend, I just picked up a couple of Guided by Voices 7 Inches I Needed. Uh, these are both songs from their album Universal Truths and Cycles from 2002. And um, they actually are also featured, the B-sides on these are featured on a compilation called The Pipe Dreams of Instant Prince Whippet. 
yeah, uh, one of my favorites, actually. It's a very cool compilation. So I didn't really need these as far as um, the songs on it, but, you know, I'm a GBV completionist, so it's definitely cool to get these. So the first one of these is a single for Back to the Lake. And the second one is actually the title track on the album, which is Universal Truths and Cycles. Um, I believe they released either four or five of these seven inches for this record, so there's still a few more I need to, to get them all. But, yeah, always cool to get some more GBV stuff in the collection I didn't have. Um, I mentioned the new Rickid Wiki album, and to go with that album, he also released um, three new 7-inch singles for that. So these all have exclusive B-sides on them, so I, of course I had to pick these up as well. Um, the first one of these is for a song called Mobility. The second one, and this is a pretty cool cover, is uh, a song called Death Metal Kid. And finally, the third Rickid Wiki single is for the song called piss face yeah all right um, another new band I've been really getting into actually two new bands I've really been getting into is a band uh, called meat bodies and another band called wand um, this is a really cool seven inch that came out I don't know a year or two ago and it actually features both bands on it so it was cool to get this um, I think this is out of print now this came out on um, in the red records which is one of my favorite record labels so yeah pretty cool um, the other Meat Body single I picked up this month, and this also came out on In the Red, is um, for a song called Rotten with uh, B-side Mud Gals. So, definitely a cool band. Um, they Their debut album came out last year, and it's uh, one I wish I'd heard earlier. It probably would have made my top 10 of two, 2014, because it's really cool. But we'll get to that. Uh, the next 7-inch I picked up, this is actually an old one. Uh, this is one from the mid-90s. And this is Pavement's classic song, Gold Sounds. Pretty cool artwork on that one. I'm not like the biggest Pavement fan in the world, but uh, I do like their stuff. I mean, if I see something cool like this, I'll definitely pick it up. All right, let's move on to some full links. So this first one here is the new Parquet Quartz album, and this is called Content Nausea. A uh, little bit of a story on this. This was supposed to come out in November, I believe, of 2014, uh, maybe even the first week of December. Well, they had some pressing issues at the plant, and this album actually didn't even get um, sent out to the people that pre-ordered it until, I don't know, at least January of this year. I can't remember what week I got it. Um, but this had quite a few delays on it, and the record label, to their credit, they actually kept people updated very nicely about what was going on with it. So, um you know, it was kind of like, if you want to cancel your pre-order, that's cool. Uh, we won't have any hard feelings, but, you know, we're just having some issues. I was okay with waiting. Uh, this is a cool album. This is actually their uh, kind of side project. Um, you'll notice that Parquet Quartz is spelled a little differently, and it's really just because this is the two main members of the band and uh, a couple friends made this album. It's not considered a full full band project, but the songs on this are cool. This is a neat record. Um, I've actually got a digital copy of this that I've been listening to, so I haven't even opened the vinyl, but uh, to make up for that, uh, that delay on pressing this album, though, they did something really cool. So the first thing I got with this record was a uh, just a simple Parquet Quartz pin they included in the package. thought that was a nice little bonus, but this is what was really cool. Uh, the band actually made a screen print of, show this to you, uh, this was just for the people that pre-ordered it with the delay. One of the songs on the album is about Elvis, and uh, this is a classic story of something that happened kind of related to Elvis. These are all the lyrics to the song, I believe, that are printed on the poster, but um, it even has a little message here, Merry Christmas from Parquet Courts. And this is number 187 out of 500. So I think this is awesome. I mean, you know, this is way more than they had to do. I might get this frame because it's pretty cool. Not a huge Elvis fan, but uh, definitely Parquet Quartz is all right in my book for doing this. So, yeah, neat little bonus they packed in. All right. Uh, the next thing I picked up is the new album from Disappears. And this is a really cool band from Chicago. I've been a big fan of since they first started about five years ago. Um, this is considered to be their most challenging record yet, and I haven't even listened to it yet, but definitely I'm sure it'll be in my wheelhouse. Um, they're very, uh, like a cold, simplistic, um, I don't know, post-rock sound, post-punk, I guess would be what I'd call it, actually not post-rock. Uh, but yeah, this is very minimalistic artwork, as is their style. Um, 
definitely think it's a cool looking album cover. So yeah, neat stuff to check out there. Um, Disappears also bought that directly from their record label. They included a poster as well. And it's actually really flimsy because it's on newspaper print. But it is a uh, just a neat, simple um, poster for the album. The album is called A Real, if you couldn't figure that out. So yeah, nice little bonus. I like getting stuff like that when you order directly from record labels. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this next thing I got is something I've really been wanting. I thought I was going to have to shell out big bucks for an original copy of this. This just got reissued. I actually got this in the mail today. Uh, this is a reissue of a Ty Siegel uh, split from, I don't know, 2008, I believe, or 2009. It's early in his career. And uh, it's a split with a, another band called Black Time. Um, it has six Ty Siegel originals on it that you can't get on any other compilation. And uh, they're all awesome. I actually checked these out digitally as well, but they're very, very cool songs. So this uh, this was something that went for big bucks. Um, it's been out of print for years, and the label in Canada that released this just reissued it. So very cool if you want to pick one of these up. The only thing I'll warn is uh, if you're in the U.S. and you want to get one of these, the shipping's kind of expensive because shipping anything from Canada right now really sucks. So very awesome. Glad they reissued that. Uh, next is some stuff I picked up in a record store, and this is one that uh, just kind of caught my eyes because the artwork's really cool on it. Um, I'd vaguely heard of this band before, but they are called the Broadfield Marchers, and uh, this is just a cool pop album from 2006. Um, they put out two other albums after this, but they were CD only, so this is the only one you can get on vinyl. And uh, again, if you like Guided by Voices, you'll probably like this. Um, I would say the singer sounds a little bit like James Mercer of The Shins. Uh, but the songs are definitely very Guided by Voices influence, so very cool record. Uh, I left a little note on there from the record store that kind of convinced me to buy this, so cool stuff. Uh, next is an album of a band from, this is from 2007. Um, the band is called The Makes Nice, and they were a very um, fast-paced, who-influenced, um, 60s, you know, beat band type of uh, revival thing. Um, I actually got to see this band live before they broke up, and they were fantastic. Um, they put out two albums in one year, and this is the second one, and then they promptly broke up after that, so they had a very short lifespan. But this is the only one of the two albums that is available on vinyl, and um, I've had a CD copy of this for years. I found a uh, one of these on Blowout clearance from some website, and I picked it up this month, but this is a very cool album. I wish this band had gotten more uh, more recognition, so cool stuff there. Um, earlier I was talking about the two 7 inches I picked up from the Meat Bodies. This is actually their proper album release. Um, this is a just a self-titled album from 2014. And it is uh, fantastic. If you like Ty Siegel and uh, the OCs and stuff like that, guarantee you'll like this band. I think they're going to be big things this year. Alright, uh, next is another one of my favorite bands, and that is a power pop group from the late 70s called Shoes. Uh, but they're actually still active today. They even put out an album a couple years ago. So um, they're from Zion, Illinois, which is not exactly a musical hotbed. But um, very cool that uh, this got a, a reissue a few years ago. Uh, what this is is a, um alternate version of probably their best-known album, which is called Present Tense. Um, it is an album from 1978, I believe, or 79. Um, it was signed to a major label, so it kind of the finished product sounds a little bit slick. But these are their original demos for that album, and uh, they were known for being really good at home recording. So the quality on this, I'm sure, is great as well. I'm, I'm pretty excited to check this out. Uh, it has kind of alternate artwork of uh, what the real album looks like, too. So cool stuff. I'm glad that got a reissue. Uh, one thing I've been talking about a lot lately is uh, my favorite album of 2014, which was X Hex's album called Rips. Um, the leader of that group is Mary Timoney. And I'm starting to go back and check out some of her prior projects that I missed out on. So this was a band from a few years ago called Wild Flag. And it had uh, two members of Sleater Kinney in it, um, a member of The Minders, which was another band I was a fan of. And then Mary Timoney was uh, also instrumental to this group. Um, this is their one and only album they put out. It's supposed to be really good. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but uh, definitely looking forward to this. I think it'll be very cool. Uh, next is another band. This is one that I missed out on from 2014, but this is a Australian group called Total Control, and this is their album called Typical System. 
Uh, it's very cool. I would say every single song sounds about totally different than the last one. Um, but you'll probably find some stuff on here you like. It's very indebted to uh, 70s and 80s indie sound. That's very cool. All right. So, Guided by Voices, again, being one of my favorite bands. This is one of the coolest reissues of the year already, which just started. Um, this is their classic album, B-1000, which has been unavailable since uh, the mid-90s on vinyl. And those originals go for a disgusting amount of money. That's why I never bought one. Yeah, I'm a bad fan, whatever. But uh, this is now properly reissued uh, by the original label, which was Scat Records. It later uh, came out on Matador after that, but uh, this is... Scat that did the uh, reissue, and really not much more can be said about this album. This is absolutely essential if uh, you like any kind of indie music. I mean, this is easily one of the best albums of all time. So, very happy to get this. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I wish the reissue had happened a long time ago. Hopefully, a lot more people will get to hear this album now, but it's great, great album. Uh, very neat gatefold package. Nice, thick, um, heavy vinyl as well. So, yeah, it's done right. Very cool reissue. Um, the other thing that came out with that is uh, a B-Sides compilation that was issued about that time. Um, this is also great. I mean, it's a little deeper than B-1000 as far as uh, the content on it. But it is a uh, collection called King Shit and the Golden Boys. And uh, half of the songs on this were outtakes from B-1000. The other half were from before that. But definitely very cool, early Guided by Voices stuff. Also happy they reissued this because it was part of a box set originally that's been long out of print as well. So something else to scratch off my collection that I think is well overdue. Very neat stuff. Um, finally for this month, I picked up the new Ty Siegel Live album. And I was lucky enough to get one of the early copies of this, which is on clear vinyl. I think they only made 300 of those. So I am a huge Ty Siegel fan. I've seen them live a few times. I'm sure this will completely rip and destroy and uh yeah definitely want to hear this so that's really it um hopefully you guys like this video let me know please take a moment like comment subscribe let me know what you think and if you like this video hopefully i'll make some more of these with my album pickups so have a great day or night wherever you are and i'll talk to you soon